What's up guys, Christos here. Welcome back for another video. And today we have got some stuff to get into. Tattooed Chef have just reported their earnings for the first quarter of 2021 and the results were absolutely amazing. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. As always, hit a like on the video if you're excited to hear about it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So um, this always just start off with the actual highlight of the actual report and then what I'm going to do is go into some of the really interesting things that I actually heard in the conference call which I've just sat up and watched live the time is almost 11 p.m uk time I'm going to be filming this video editing it and getting it out for you guys so um hope you appreciate that but jumping in straight into the financial highlights as you can see for the first quarter revenue was 52.7 million which is a 59 percent increase from the 33.2 million that they made in the first quarter absolutely amazing news this is for a growth stock this is exactly what you are wanting to see of course gross profit was at 13.7 million or 26 percent gross margin compared to the 9.2 million or 28 percent gross margin so gross margin has gone down which is actually good news because they're actually expanding their business so that is what we want to see happening and we do not care about margins at the moment with such a new company that is growing massively um, net loss was um, 7.9 million compared to the net income of uh, 5.9 million in the prior year period not going to get into the last bit there because it's a little bit advanced for the people that normally watch these kind of videos another really important highlight of this call was that the balance sheet is now at 185 million as of March the 31st 2021 one thing that we do have to remember is that this company did purchase New Mexico Foods Company for 35 million around the end of April maybe beginning of May time so expect to see that probably drop around 35 million as to what that was reported as of March the 31st but nonetheless just a really good cash position guys I've spoke about this in the previous video that I made on Tattoo Chef it is only going to increase if they um, obviously don't make any more acquisitions but I'm sure they will um, moving on to the company outlook for 2021 this is what excited me more than the actual financials for the full year of 2021 the company expects revenue in the range of 235 million to 242 million which is an increase of 58 percent or 63 percent compared to 2021 like i said this company for me is a complete growth stock uh, a speculative stock i must admit at the start but just seeing this outlook and these expectations is just making me so excited for the future of my shares in this company is making me want to buy more which we will get into in a second um, this guideline implies a 49 percent year-on-year growth of the base business to 222 million and 13 million to 20 million contribution from one of the two facilities included in in the foods of new mexico acquisition which we will talk about um it's not quite there yet it's not actually opened yet they have announced it but it will be fully operating in the near future they then go on to say that the company expects to update their guidance probably even further and even better um, once production begins at that facility in the coming months so the way that they're saying that it's not going to be uh, a year away it's actually going to be happening very very soon which is very very positive um, gross margin they expect to be in the range of 20 to 25 percent which is a little bit lower than what they just reported but once again like i said at the start this is absolutely fine they are a growing company do not care about margins at the moment so over overall an extremely positive press release that they made where they released their financials and their company outlook just to go over this and what this actually means revenue for me is everything for a new growth stock like i just mentioned profit margins can come later you've only got to look at tesla guys tesla has been operating at a loss for years now i think it may just be starting to get to the point where it's actually making money but that doesn't mean anything for the stock tesla is a massive growth stock and um, this is exactly why i do not care about profit margins when we are looking at growth stocks right at the beginning um, and then the other thing is the new acquisition of the new foods mexico company is obviously a big driver of this updated outlook and when they um, get up and running at the carson tortilla factory that is of course going to be another big driver of the updated outlook that hasn't even come yet so um 
That was the um, base financials that they released in the press statement. Um, what really, really got me excited, and I've got two slides worth of highlights on this and you'll get to see this, is the conference call that followed later. So I tuned into that, listened to it live and listened to some questions. And let's just go through some of the highlights that they talked about in this conference call. So the first thing, and this one is the one that's got me most excited, was that they expected to take two to three years to reach 85 to 95% in branded revenues. They are now now saying they will get there in six months based on the growth that they have had absolutely amazing news this is this is just fills me with so much confidence as a new shareholder and as someone that is looking to load the boat on this company which like I said we'll talk about in a second another thing that I heard from the company which um, I didn't know they've released 42 product lines so far and not one has been discontinued yet because it's been a terrible seller in um, Target or Walmart or Sam's Club. Um, another really good thing that they mentioned is that they are launching their first refrigerated products. Now, this is something that a lot of people um, that I've seen on the internet have had their reservations about with this stock is that they are only a frozen food company. They are now planning to launch refrigerated products, fresh meals that people can actually eat without actually having to have a frozen meal. So this is really, really positive news. Um, especially for the diversification of the company and it becoming a worldwide leader. So um, really, really good and really, really pleased to hear that. Um, another thing that they mentioned was that they now have a 2022 revenue guide of at least 300 million. Now, I think um, from what I was getting, this raised a few questions with a few of the analysts that were asking questions, but they very much, um, which I'm not gonna get into, they really detailed as to how they come up with this guideline. Much much of that driving from the new acquisitions that they've made um, but yeah 300 million them telling me that that is all good that all just sends positive vibes my way so um really happy with that but obviously a few of the analysts i believe on the call were kind of taken back by that and how they actually came up with that number um just moving on to some more highlights from this um the brand is now in 7.4 thousand stores and they expect to be in over 10,000 plus by the end of 2022. Um, products in Sam's Club, which is a, um, for the UK people watching this, um, it's just a, an outlet of Walmart. It's owned by Walmart. They are now outselling the entire frozen category now for um, Tattoo Chef. I believe that I was watching uh, Financial Education Jeremy uh, a couple of weeks back and he said that they are now in the aisles. Obviously, I can't see that because I'm out in the UK. Um, they are now in the aisles and not in the end caps, which normally means they are a permanent fixture of that store so um, that is really really positive news as well and like I did mention just before these guidelines do not include the new acquisition which I think is even better news because they are not even taking that one into factor yet and these results and these outlooks are absolutely amazing without even thinking about that so and that is absolutely amazing. So that was the highlights. Obviously, as you can probably tell by my energy, that got me really pumped and that has got me really excited for the future of this stock. What is the stock doing right now? And this is quite surprising. So as you can see, I took this snapshot um, about an hour and 10 minutes after market close, I believe, um, and nothing really has happened. It's dropped a little bit, um, which is really surprising because if you take a look at Sonos, who reported their earnings on the same night, you can see that they are up 15.24%. I know, of course, Sonos is a much, much bigger company than Tattoo Chef, and it's much more established, but you can just see the difference in terms of um, reporting. Like I said in the previous video, I said in that video, if they did report earnings and they did beat their earnings, which they did by 13%, by the way, I didn't expect the stock to shoot completely up but one thing that I will say is that if they did miss those earnings I was expecting especially in the market we're currently in at the moment I was expecting a massive drop and that's exactly what's happened nothing really has happened it's down 0.3 percent which is absolutely nothing I think by the time the market opens tomorrow very much depending on the state of the whole market this one could be up and um but yeah we'll see on that one um moving on what is the play for me now? So what I am going to be doing tomorrow is loading the boat at the open on this stock. I've got some cash aside. 
I said to myself, as long as it beats the earnings, I was loading the boat on this regardless. I need to increase my position because as you can see, I am very, very thin in this stock at the moment. I only have 38 shares currently at a value of 463 pounds. So I need to increase and establish a better position in the stock because I feel so passionately about this and I think it's going to be a massive one for the future. So I am setting myself a target tomorrow to increase my holdings up to 100 shares in this stock whether I'm going to do that and whether I'm going to be able to do that we'll see I'm sure I'm going to let you know in a future portfolio update or something like that but if I can get to that 100 share target that's going to be about 5% of my entire portfolio in this stock which I think is a really really good number so um, just taking back a look at the price like I said it's going it's currently a little bit down um, after hours like I said I think it's going to open up around about the same as that I can't really see too much movement unless some massive news comes out overnight um, but one thing that I'm definitely going to be doing is loading up on this stock regardless of this price as long as it's under $20 I'm going to be hitting this stock hard tomorrow and I am going to be buying so overall a really really positive earnings this is my first earnings call as a tattoo chef owner um, and it's been a really really good one for me um, just before I go guys if you are a UK viewer and you haven't signed up to free trade yet, make sure you sign up today. And if you deposit one pound on the app, you will get a free share worth anything between three and 200 pounds. I will get one as well. So let me know what stock you will get and I will show you mine as well. Apart from that, like and subscribe to the video if you found this useful at all and you wanna see more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.